Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy. And welcome back to our channel. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, so today we are going to do a little recipe. We're going to be doing a little cooking, a little scooting, a little bopping, a little booping in the kitchen. Yes, I'm going to cook some food because recently um, Chantal posted a video called Healthy Fast Food Options. And in it, <laughs> she got healthy fast food options from um, the Wendy's. So I ordered something for lunch. And the theme of today's vlog is along the lines of how to choose healthier options. So the point is choosing healthier options, especially when eating out, which um, for a lot of us, for a lot of people is unavoidable. And if you are going to eat out, at least you can choose healthy options. So uh, it's not just that it's unavoidable, it's enjoyable for people, it's a social thing. And a lot of people just like to eat out. So there are healthier options you can choose. So today's lunch, I will show you first right here what my go-to favorite typical meal would be. So we're going to compare the two. So this is what it would be before. And this is today's meal. Okay, and this is the now. So, we have a garden salad with the pomegranate vinaigrette. I did shake it up. We have a plain baked potato with, well, we have a baked potato. It's not plain, but it has one container of their sour cream. It has chives, no butter, a bit of salt and pepper, and their grilled, I thought their grilled chicken wrap had, oh, it does have some lettuce on there. So it has and like um, a vinaigrette, a honey vinaigrette, Dijon, and a little bit of cheese it has the grilled chicken breast. So I did plug this all into my fitness pal. And I was just like, girl, you can make that at home. You can make that at home. And so because of that, we're gonna make that at home. But before we get too far into that, Little Miss Judy Lou who has some thoughts on food and everything that we need to know right now immediately. She told me, Dad, you gotta let me say this or otherwise I'm never coming on your channel again. So Judy, take it away, Sister Sue. What What's on your mind? It has been a long time since there were beans on this channel. If there are not beans in your next video, I'm resigning from my position as lead correspondent. Okay, uh, noted, noted. I, I have noted that, Miss Judy Lou Who. As I said, Chantal went to Wendy's and she got healthier food options. What I'm not here to talk about today is whether or not those were healthy food options or not. I think it's certainly probably better choices than she could have made. I mean, literally, Wendy's serves a sandwich called the Baconator, right? Like, she could have absolutely done worse. Is it the healthiest thing? I don't know. The thing that bothers me the most is that she made it a point to go to the Wendy's. And by go to the Wendy's, I mean, I'm pretty sure she had it delivered. But to get Wendy's delivered to get a baked potato, uh, the saddest of salads, and the saddest, actually, the saddest thing that she got, the saddest thing that she got was this chicken wrap, y'all. This chicken wrap. This sad looking chicken wrap. And it's just like, I get the idea that like, you gotta have options everywhere you go, right? Like, you inevitably, at some point, at some time, are probably gonna go out and about with your friends and you have to be able to figure out how to pick a food, dish, etc. thing that fits with what you're trying to do in your diet and meet you. Listen, I did it as a vegetarian. I did it when I was doing keto. And to some extent, like, eventually one day I'm going to go out into the world with, when we're all vaccinated and I'm going to be able to make choices about what I want to eat or not eat when I go to restaurants, right? What I don't get is making, because that makes sense, like, if you're out, if you're out with friends, if you're traveling and you just have to stop somewhere and eat and you want to make the best choice you can. What I don't understand is when you 
don't have to leave your home where you have an abundance of resources, AKA a kitchen to make your own food. And you say, I just gotta get that fast food itch. I gotta get that fast food crave. So let me order these like sad, sad things. Because the thing is, is like also what I hope to show you is that none of the things that she even ordered would be that difficult to make. Like all of those things are easy. It's easy to throw a salad together. It's easy to bake a potato. You literally can use the microwave, okay? Y'all, you can literally use the microwave. And the chicken wrap, maybe, if you wanna make a good one, is probably the hardest thing to do. But I'm gonna show you how I'm, I'm gonna make it and it's not gonna be hard at all, okay? So it's just like, the only thing I can imagine is that like, the hardest thing about any of those meals is that the dressing she got. So there's like some special like, mustard vinaigrette on the, on the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the wrap, and there was some kind of pomegranate vinaigrette on the salad. Those are things I can't make easily, but we got some, we got some salad dressing in it. It can go on both of those things, okay? So we will figure it out. I just wanted to get you prepped, and then I'll come and give you the taste test of the food that I make in my kitchen. Because people do frequently say, Zach, why don't you just make these recipes but healthy. Make these recipes but healthier, nicer, better, so that they taste good. And I'm like, well, I'm not a chef. Okay, so let's let's clear that up. She's not a chef, and I'm also not a dietitian. So I'm not here to tell you what I'm about to make is going to be the healthiest option. I'm just here to tell you it's the homemade option, and it's probably, well, I won't say it's the easier option because I could have just ring-a-ling-a-ling hi, Wendy's, send me this food. I could have done that, but I didn't, okay? I didn't. So it could be maybe easier in that way, but in terms of like the things I can cook, I can't cook many things. So if I can do this, anybody can do this. Okay, so let's get to, let's get to. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna get started with easily, probably, arguably, the most taxing part of this very complicated dinner moment, which is making the salad, which includes cutting this lettuce up. Okay, so very difficult part here. And, you know, it's gonna take me lots of time, but you know, one of the great things about being a YouTuber, one of the great things you get to create your own masterpieces, you know? You get to create your own video, your own masterpiece. And, you know, honestly, that's what I'm doing here. We're creating a masterpiece. Now, I don't like these white chunky parts at the bottom. So we're just gonna make sure that's all gone. And we're just gonna chop. And I'm gonna place the chopped lettuce into the colander, okay? And we're gonna give it a rinse after I chop it all up. Ooh, you better watch those fingers, Zachary. <laughs> you better watch those fingers. Oh, this is a lot of lettuce, y'all. Y'all like lettuce? <laughs> now, we're obviously not gonna use all of this in our salad, but it's here and it's ready to play. It's ready to be a part of our fabulous salad we're gonna make. Okay, so we're just gonna give that a rinse because this came straight from the store. So, you know, you don't want it to be um, covered in dirt. You gotta wash your vegetables, okay? You gotta wash your vegetables. So I'm gonna put it in this colander and we're gonna give it a rinse, but that's like probably the hardest part of everything I'm gonna show you. Can you believe? Oh, we do ha also have some tomatoes to slice up, so that might be, <laughs> that might be the hardest part. All right, so now I'm gonna just chop up some of these tomatoes, and by chop them up, I mean slice them. We're not chopping them. I don't know how knives work, you know? Now, I think the tomatoes in her salad were a bit bigger. I don't think they were grape tomatoes, but you know, this is a personal preference. I'm taking some liberties and I'm not gonna do too many either because I, you know, her, her salad didn't have that many. In fact, it had like one really big one. So honestly, I think Ah, uh, let's do one more, one more. Also, I'm sorry that it's so dark. Um, it's nighttime and this is what we got to work with. Okay, but we got that one more in there, looking good. Love to see it, done. 
So what we're gonna do next is add some of the lettuce. So we got the lettuce here. Bada boom, bada bang. There's the lettuce. Now we will use that lettuce for the chicken wrap as well. But for now, that's all we need. And we also have some cheese. So I just have, I just always have a little bit of shredded cheese on hand. So we'll just sprinkle some of that on there. And there's your, there's your garden salad. Made at home, can you believe it? All right, so the next part we're going with is the chicken wrap. And I'm using these Mission Carb Balance tortillas. I love these things because they only have four grams of net carbs and they're 70 calories a tortilla, y'all. 70 calories a tortilla right here. So that's like, you know, probably half of what a normal tortilla has. I don't know. I'm not a math major. I was a math major. Not the point. And I'm going to use this already shredded chicken that I happen to have. Now, I did make another video one time where I used shredded chicken that I already have on hand. One thing that I like to do to save myself time and prep <laughs> is to just sh put a whole bunch of chicken. You just take some, some frozen chicken breasts, put them in your crock pot, let it sit all day. Just let it sit all day on low. Season it with whatever you want. I usually put salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe some red pepper flakes if I'm if I'm feeling a little adventurous. But I try not to put too much seasoning on it there because like I add it to all kinds of things where it's gonna get other seasoning later, right? Like that's not the last place it's gonna get seasoning and it makes it more versatile if I could like throw it into a taco dish. Throw it in some buffalo dip. Throw it on a salad, you know? So I already portioned out some of that that I already have ready to go. But if you don't, let's say you don't have a crock pot. Let's say you don't have a crock pot, you don't have the time, okay? Get a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store, pull it apart, there you go. Maybe you don't wanna do all that. Maybe that's too much for you. Take a take a chicken breast and cook it on the stove, girl. It doesn't take that long. Okay, either way, chicken's easy to cook. It's easy to cook, so just cook it. That's all you gotta do. But I like I like to like just have a whole bunch ready to go at one time. I literally set it and forget it. Y'all y'all know that that phrase, set it and forget it. That's what I do. Okay, we're not talking rocket science here. We're talking literally Zachary Michael. Guy who doesn't know how to cook to save his life does this, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Put the chicken on the tortilla. That feels like a lot of chicken, Zachary. You know what? We're going with it. She said it had some cheese on it, so let's add, let's add that good old shredded cheese to it, okay? Bada boom, bada bing. Shredded cheese is there. Add some lettuce. Well, we got a chicken wrap. You got a chicken wrap. It's that easy, folks. Oh wait, we need some dressing. We need some dressing. Now she had some kind of fancy uh, mustard vinaigrette. I just love some good old honey mustard. So we got that here, and that's what's gonna go on this wrap. And honey mustard, very low in the calories. Very low. So we'll just ploop it on like that. She's good to go. She's good to go. So now we got our salad. We got our wrap. And oh, I also forgot to put anything on the salad. I just looked through the dressings that Noel and I combined have in our our kitchen. We got this sweet Vidalia onion, the Catalina, and the ranch. The ranch, you know, she's probably not the healthiest option. Um, but of these options, my favorite. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to go with. But you know, if you know how to make a fancy pomegranate, whoever, whatever, go for it. And you don't need a lot. Just, just a little... Boop, and there you go. There you go. Wow, so now all we got is this baked potato. So get ready, folks, get ready. All right, so the baked potato is gonna be the part that takes you the longest amount of time, okay? Because first you're gonna need to scrub it because potatoes grow in the ground, so that's literally dirt. And we're gonna eat the outside of this puppy, so scrub it, scrub it clean. Then you're gonna wanna take a fork and just put some little, put some little holes in it. Just poke it around, poke it around, poke it around, poke it around, because you, you want it to be able to release some steam, because we're going to put this puppy in the microwave. We're going to put it in the microwave. I know. Wow, radiation. 
microwaves. I don't, I don't really know how science works, but we're gonna put it in the microwave and we're gonna bake this puppy, okay? Five minutes, turn it over, another five minutes. It's done. It's done. It's done. She's wrinkled. That's how you know she's done. She's soft. That's how you know she's done. She's very warm. That's how you know she's done. Now we're just gonna use this knife that we were already using. Cut it in half. Okay, cut that, cut that baked potato right in half. Gonna season it. Now she just had a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some sour cream, some chives, okay? So we're just gonna season it with a little bit of salt. All right, that was maybe a little bit more than a little bit of salt, but who cares? All right, and then pepper. No, I like, I like the pepper. Okay, we need, we need some flavor. We like flavor in this house, okay? So then we got some Daisy sour cream. And as the commercial says, we're just gonna do a dollop. Do, do a dollop of Daisy, okay? <laughs> then um, I just have a little bit of green onion here, okay? And we're just gonna, the great thing about this, watch this, watch. Get you some, some, some kitchen scissors. How easy is that? And y'all, look at this. Look at this, that took almost no time. The longest thing that took was the baked potato in the microwave. It took 10 minutes, okay? That that took us the longest of all of this. So let's let's go try it out. Okay? Let's get to let's get to. Okay, everybody, we are back <laughs> in the studio ready to try this out. This is the spread. Now I'm going to have to move some of this cuz in true mukbanger fashion, all this food is sitting on top of three books for my grad school experience, <laughs> okay? So we're going to start with the salad cuz it's the most boring part of this. It's literally just lettuce and cheese and tomato and some ranch because I added the ranch okay now you could have definitely definitely had a lower calorie dressing but when I eat a salad you know what I want I want ranch okay I want ranch I'm from the Midwest mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> Y'all, I was gonna try to do a bit where I just let the ranch just stay on my face. What we're not gonna do is that. So I got these trusty Chipotle, uh, we got the Chipotle napkins and we got it. Now, I don't know what you really want me to say about this salad because y'all, it's vegetables and a little bit of cheese and some ranch, so like, I, I mean, I'm not a rabbit, so it's not my favorite thing ever. Mmm. But it's not bad. You know, it's not bad, and it's probably better than paying whatever she paid for that garden salad. Are you kidding me? I'm sure. I'm sure Wendy said, give us like $5 for this, you know? <laughs> and just maybe, maybe $5. I, I bought the lettuce, the tomatoes, the cheese, and the the ranch maybe and i get to use those things multiple times over and over and over again you know that's the thing i don't understand i i understand you know wanting to look for for better options i don't understand ordering those things on uber eats to your home okay i mean she's fine i'll probably finish this later i'm not gonna stay here eat a side salad for y'all okay i'm not just gonna stay here i i want to get into the real meat and potatoes, okay? The meat and the potatoes. That's what I want to do. First of all, I would probably normally just have a sweet potato. I love sweet potatoes. And, you know, again, I'm not a dietitian, but I do think that they have a little bit more nutritional value than, than just a, a regular old russet or Yukon gold or whoever, whatever you're looking for. But, you know, this will do. This will do. This will do. I wanted to stay authentic to, 
you know what Miss Miss Chantal got. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Now, the thing about the baked potatoes at Wendy's, it's funny because, like, growing up, I actually do remember my parents seeing, like, going and taking us to Wendy's and getting the baked potato because they wanted a healthier option. And I'm like, it's still potatoes. It's like french fries, except the, the, it's not fried, you know? <laughs> I was like, what do y'all think you're doing here? Like, like, what calories do you think you're cheating? What, what nutrients do you think you're gaining? Now, I do think that's a little bit of a blunder of like, you also might be eating significantly less calories, but that doesn't mean you're eating like a nutrient dense meal. But again, she's not a dietitian. Mmm. 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 But honestly, just a little bit of that salt and a little bit of that pepper. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Now here's the wrap. And I'm gonna be honest, I probably, my wrap probably has a bit more meat than hers does. I, I should have weighed. But honestly, this is good. Also mine, because I put so much chicken in, it's kind of looking like more of a taco than a wrap. So let's see, let's see what we can do here to, to get it a little more wrap like, cause I want, you know, I want a little bit of the flavor with every bite. All that lettuce and uh, sauce is at the top. Now see, on my end, that chicken is seasoned just how I like it. I got the kind of sauce I want. And it literally, I threw it together in like two seconds. You know, certainly eat what you want, do what you can where you can. But I personally truly don't understand the concept of like, why would <laughs> you, get Uber Eats for this, you know? When this is something, at least if you're gonna Uber Eats a burger from Wendy's or whoever, whatever, you know, most people can't make burgers like that on their own. I mean, you might be able to make a hamburger from home, for sure, I know you can, I know people do it. <laughs> I watch enough moms here on YouTube to know that, that you absolutely can do that. But you know, there is something to be said about like a fast food burger. You know, when you're tipsy, when you're high, when you're whoever, you're whatever, there is something to be said about a fast food burger and sometimes that's what you want and I can understand that you can't recreate that at home. Girl, here we're talking about some bland chicken, a bland salad, and a bland baked potato, girl. In fact, I could probably do more with this that I held back on because I was just trying to recreate what she had. You want a baked potato? Put some bacon on it, put some cheese on it. You know, let's get a real loaded baked potato here. I know that's not what she was doing and that's fine. I love that for her. But for me, I mean, normally I'd probably want to put more than this. I don't eat, I can't remember the last time I had a baked potato. You know, the last time I had a baked potato, last December <laughs> when, when Amber Lynn made that big old potato and it had, it had the salsa and the vegetables and maybe some, some kind of meat. Oh, but I can, I, I really, I really do kind of miss a baked potato. Anyways, I don't think I really need to finish the whole, <laughs> the whole meal. Mine tastes great. I enjoyed it. It tastes good. I'm going to keep eating it once I, once I push record or push the button to stop recording. It was good. It was good. And I would encourage you all to think what is in my fridge right now that I could get instead of ordering out food. You know, if you're gonna order out food, make it something special. Make it something you can't get. Get that pad thai. Go and get that that Chinese food, that orange chicken. You know, get that sushi. Get, <laughs> I mean, get the McDonald's if you have to. Make it something that you can't just, cause you can't recreate a chicken McNugget at home. You, you can probably get some chicken nuggets, but it's not gonna be a McDonald's chicken McNugget, right? So, you know, do something special. Make it more than a, a basic chicken wrap and a baked potato and a garden salad, you know? <laughs> you know? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I feel like I did. I had a good time making it, at least at a minimum, even if none of y'all like it. At least I can throw my hands up in the air at night and say, I had fun. So if you all did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing if you aren't already and making sure that your bell button is pressed so you get notifications every single time I go live or post a new video. Also, please um, make sure to live, laugh, love, like, comment, share, and follow me on all of my social media. I had fun today. Judy had fun today. Uh, and we'll see you all in our next video.
Bye.